Hello all, and welcome to episode 1 of STEM with Mr N, where every week I'll be doing different demonstrations and explaining the science behind what we're seeing. This week I decided to tackle pendulum waves. Let's check it out. You'll all have experienced pendulums at some time in your life. Swings down at the park are pendulums, you sometimes see them on old clocks, and you might also see a hypnotist using a pendulum as part of their act. But you can also use the science behind how pendulums work to make something called pendulum waves. So, while we're in quarantine, I decided to get a few bits and bobs together and see if I could build myself a pendulum wave. I've got a time lapse of me building it, then you'll see me swinging the pendulum, and then I'll explain the science behind what's actually happening. Gravity is trying to pull the nuts that are attached to the ends of the bits of the string down towards the earth. And all the bits of string are being released at the same time. But they don't all swing at the same time. This is because some of the bits of string are longer and some of the bits are shorter. Now although gravity is trying to pull all of the nuts at the same force towards the earth of 9.2 metres per second, because they're attached to different lengths of string, the nuts have further to fall if they're on a long piece of string, and they don't have as far to fall if they're on a short piece of string. This means that the nuts attached to the short bits of string will swing faster and go backwards and forwards more often than the nuts that are attached to the long pieces of string. You get the best view of this when I filmed it from above. You get a clearer view of the wave. Also, if you check on YouTube, there are other great videos of pendulum waves out there where people who are actually technicians have managed to piece them together. This was my attempt at home, and if you want to try it at home as well, you can send me an email at stemwithmrn at outlook.com and I can send you back the instructions that I followed. Or you can Google for pendulum wave instructions and you can try and build one at home. I also want to turn this into an opportunity to answer any science questions that anyone out there has. So you can again email me at stemwithmrn at outlook.com with any of your science questions and I will try and turn that into a video if we get enough requests. I hope you've enjoyed episode one. This has been STEM with Mr N looking at pendulum waves.